Well-maintained stormwater facilities are good for your property, your neighborhood, and your environment. In Clark County, cities in the county are typically responsible for maintaining regional and publicly owned stormwater facilities. But maintaining a private stormwater facility is the responsibility of private individuals or organizations such as homeowners associations. Whether you've just bought a new home in a new development or you're a longtime property owner, if there's a private stormwater facility on your property or in your neighborhood, you may be responsible for maintaining it. Private property owners are responsible for maintaining stormwater management structures that they own. A management plan should be in place to ensure that components of the stormwater facility are functioning properly and are working the way they are supposed to to last a long time. Clark County and its cities and towns want you to know a few things about maintaining and taking care of your stormwater facility. Here's how you can get started. Contact the Stormwater or Surface Water Division of your city or Clark County and ask what those specific rules mean for you. The website at stormwaterpartners.com has information that will help. You'll also need to determine what kind of facility you have. These can include grassy bioswales, ponds, storm filter vaults, and even permeable pavement. Next, determine what kind of maintenance is needed. Grab your boots and gloves and prepare to do a little inspection of your own. When you're looking at these facilities for maintenance issues, the most common things we see are, of course, sediment buildup, because that's what the system's designed to do. Typically, that's uh, concentrated in the inlet area, so that's where you want to begin looking. These can also attract invasive plants over time, things like blackberry, ivy. These are things that are going to eventually push the grass out, and they're going to undermine the treatment function of that facility. So you want to make sure we get those taken out uh, before they become a nuisance problem. And then the other problem we see is dumping, uh, whether that's automotive fluids or paints or yard debris often is a, is a common culprit. Uh, if your neighbors don't understand the function of this facility, it often just looks like a handy ditch to put things. The Washington Department of Ecology requires your local government to inspect private stormwater facilities to ensure they are functioning properly to protect water resources. Local governments have responsibilities under the Federal Clean Water Act and through the Washington State Department of Ecology to monitor stormwater and control stormwater, uh, monitor that stormwater facilities are being properly maintained, and to help educate the public on their responsibilities of keeping our surface waters clean. Often, the first objects the inspector comes in contact with are the access road or easement, the gate, fences, water quality sign, and the facility discharge point. Every facility has these, and they all need to be in good working order and functioning properly. When you start a facility inspection, typically the first place you would start is the inlet pipe, the pipe that goes into the facility. Uh, you want to make sure that that's free of sediment and debris. Um, there might be floatables, some trash, pop cans, things like that. And then what's at the end of the pipe? Um, is there a sediment buildup there? These are typically the first areas that start to go bad in the facility. Typically there's large rock at the end of an inlet pipe. Has that been filled up with sediment? If that's so, that needs to be removed because that's the first place evasive species will, will start to grow, cattails and blackberries and such. You want to check any flow control structures to make sure they're free of debris and sediment. Best management practices, often referred to as BMPs, are an effective and practical way of reducing pollution, protecting your property, and meeting local and state stormwater requirements. Some maintenance needs are common to all types of facilities, while others depend on the specific facility and may need to meet specific requirements in your area. In general, here are some best management practices for do-it-yourself stormwater facility maintenance. The first thing you want to take a look at when looking at a facility like this is the inlet and exit. Uh, make sure they're free of sediment and debris. Uh, you also want to take a look at for invasive species like blackberries uh, and also trees that are growing on the banks that could be unstabilizing the banks, especially on the berm that runs through the center of the pond. The flow control structure uh, regulates the amount of water that leaves the facility and the speed at which it leaves the facility. One thing that's important to make sure is that the orifice structure, which is what controls the flow rate, is intact, uh, that there's not a sediment plugging up the manhole structure and that the emergency release gate is functioning properly. Regular maintenance will extend the effectiveness and life of your stormwater facility, improve water quality, and help prevent flooding. 
Well, once they've gotten to know their facility and each component of the facility, it may be time to revise their maintenance plan or develop a new one. Facilities can be as simple as a bioswell that needs very little maintenance or complex as a series of catch basins, a detention pond, and a flow control structure that may need a little bit more maintenance. Regardless of the complexity of the stormwater facility, to make sure the maintenance needs are addressed, they should look at each component of the facility, make sure it's free of any maintenance defects to ensure that it is working properly and treating and detaining stormwater as designed. They can do that on a regular basis. It will increase the life of the facility. Routine scheduled maintenance can help keep overall costs down by addressing problems before they require major attention. If a facility has been neglected for years, it might be clogged with sediment and overgrown with vegetation and require a major retrofit. If major maintenance is needed, the Stormwater Division of your city or Clark County can provide some advice and point you in the right direction so you can resolve the issue. Remember, different types of stormwater facilities require different care. Check the Stormwater Partners Guidebook for more information. Or contact the Stormwater Division of your city or Clark County to find out what's right for your facility. Join your neighbors and your local government in making a commitment to maintain your stormwater facility and protect your water resources. Visit stormwaterpartners.com for more information.